Okay, let's look at how we can put something into Reality Composer where it will link out a Reality Composer to something else. It's a little bit of a process, but this is the best way that I found that makes it work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the internet. I'm going to find the content that I want. So for example, maybe this is this YouTube video. I'm going to select the URL and copy it. Then I'm going to go to a QR code creator. Um, I really like QR code monkey. So I'm going to use this one and there's my URL and I'm going to say create QR code. So here's my QR code and I'm going to download that. So now it's just, it's creating it right now being generated. Again, you can do this on the iPad or you could do this um, on the computer as well. So this works either way, but I'm just going to do it all here. So now I'm going to say download and there it is up there. So I can tap on here the square with the arrow, save image. So now that image has been saved. So now I'm going to go to, go back to Reality Composer and I'm going to find that photo. So there it is. That's the one I want. I'm going to drag this onto my, into my scene. Let's get rid of this. Now, one of the things that I'd like to do with this is I'm actually going to, let's rotate it this way. So if somebody is, if somebody's standing there, let's just say, you know, you're standing there, um, they would see it in front of them. Maybe I'll move it back actually. Let's just move it back. So here's a starting point and it might be in front of them, for example. Okay, so now the next thing to do is if I put this into, um, AR, for example, and I find a space, then let's press play. What you want to do is you want to, t you have, you have to give the person instructions, but you're going to take a screenshot of that. So I'm going to take a screenshot. There we go. Let's come back. I've got my screenshot. And now I can't, cause I can't read that with the camera on my iPad. One of the things you can do is in Google Photos, now I see I've got that, that uh, the original screenshot there, but this is the one that's been captured. So I can tap on that. And one of the things that you can do is you can read a QR code. So if I do that, it actually says, hey, do you wanna go here? And I say, yes, I'm going to go to that website. Let's open it with Safari. So it's actually found and gone right to that a URL that I wanted to send it to. You can use this for sending it to YouTube, anything, any URL you want. Um, there's a bit of a workaround, but it works quite well.